In ancient Egyptian society, chariotry stood as an independent unit in the king's military force. Chariots are thought to have been first used as a weapon in Egypt by the Hyksos in the 16th century BC, though investigation of materials long held in the Tahrir Square Egyptian Museum has potentially revealed the presence of chariots as early as the Old Kingdom, circa 2686 to 2181 BC. Very cool. Let's um, explore. These are the Hyksos who are credited with the introduction of the chariot in Egypt when they took control of Lower Egypt in the mid-17th century BC, and when they were expelled during the following century Egypt preserved and developed this innovation. Initially, they were Canaanite in style, being exceptionally lightweight and mainly used as mobile platforms archery, with a crew of two people, one driver slash shield bearer and a warrior. During the reign of Thutmose IV of the crew began to use more armor and the cabin became a little heavier. The chariot in Egypt quickly became the transportation of the elite, whether for war, religion and state affairs, if the donkey has remained humble and dignified an important mode of transport. Very fascinating. Let's see our instructional aspect. Well, there's actually instruction by me. I'm not pretending to be an expert in this area, but it's quite interesting to learn more. Stop there. And let's see, we have, um, we have a quiz, we have uh, identify, we have to build it. Um, I'm going to do that today, but let's do a quiz and see if you can manage. If you can guess this one, then you have to go to the lesson. It's um, fascinating. How many spokes do they have? Okay. It's a little bit easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I uh, have. Ah, uh, it's a tricky question. So, do you know which one it is? Can not be this one not that either uh, six is one of the numbers so do you think this one yes that was correct and we do see and now you can locate things um, etc I'll leave that to you <laughs> <laughs> 